Welcome back. We're going to continue on today with Ben Cody's treasure. Remember, as you listen, I want you to think about what you wonder. When you are finished listening to today's text, you're going to go over to Canvas and respond by writing down two things that you wonder. So here we go with the next part of Ben Cody's treasure. An hour later, Leo and Toby were at the library, scanning back issues of the Lakewood News and Sun. The old issues of the newspaper had been put on microfilm. Toby scrolled through back issues until she was dizzy. Finally, she rested. She stopped to rest her eyes. She glanced over at Leo, who was sitting next to her, reading. Have you found the story about the blue lights? She asked. Leo shook his head. Not yet, but I can tell you who won the pie-eating contest at the county fair in... He gasped. Hello, what's this? What's what? Toby asked. She came to stand behind his chair and peered over his shoulder. Buried treasure, Leo said. He let out a low whistle. Look at this. It has been reported that Lakewood bank robber Ben Cody died last night in the state prison hospital. The doctor there stated that he had died of an apparent heart attack. Cody was due to be released from prison in three weeks. I thought you said it was a story about buried treasure, Toby said. Wait, there's more, Leo said as he quickly scanned the rest of the story. It says here that Ben Cody got away with a whole lot of money when he robbed the Lakewood Bank, but the loot was never found. That's the buried treasure. When did this happen? Toby asked. Leo checked the date. Well, this is a pretty old issue. Actually, Cody died about 70 years ago. Toby groaned. You dweeb, I thought this was something recent. Leo was excited. This will be fun, he said. Let's get all the information we can about the robbery. Maybe we can find the money ourselves. Toby's jaw dropped. She gazed at her brother blankly. Leo, are you nuts? I have a term paper to write, remember? We don't have time to go ripping around the countryside like a couple of pirates chasing lost treasure. Leo looked disappointed. Think about it, sis. At the time, there was a reward offered for the money. Maybe we can collect it ourselves. Now Leo's voice was rising excitedly. Plus, you'll have a term paper guaranteed to get an A, and you'll pass that history class with flying colors, and you'll... Shh. Leo and Toby turned to see the librarian standing near them. Leo gave the man an embarrassed smile and dropped his voice to a whisper. With an A in history, you can take the drama class and be in the play. Maybe you'll wind up in Hollywood after all. Toby's eyes narrowed as she thought about it. I don't know, Leo. I only have one week to finish. I'll even help you write the paper. How could she resist? Toby sighed and nodded. You better be right about all this. Okay, bro. Where do we start? First, we need to dig up as much information as we can on Ben Cody and the robbery. Let's get to work. Later, over lunch at Hannah's Hamburger Haven, Toby and Leo shared their notes. Hannah's was a local favorite. They'd been grabbing burgers and fries there since high school. I couldn't find very much, Toby said as they carried their trays to a booth. I guess I'm not as good as you are at research, so you go first. I learned a lot, Leo said with a grin, sliding into the booth. After Cody ripped off the Lakewood Bank, he hightailed it out of town and down to the river. It was raining that day, so the cops didn't pick up his trail right away. By the time they followed him to the river, they'd found signs of digging at the base of the bridge. Have you got any more ketchup? Toby handed him a couple of packets. Keep talking, she urged. This is pretty interesting. Is that where old Ben hid the loot? By the bridge? The cops thought so, Leo went on. But there were several places where the earth had been dug up. Then it started getting dark. By then the cops had found Cody's trail leading back to town. So instead of hunting for the money, they went after Ben Cody himself. Well, that makes sense, I guess, Toby said. But she looked puzzled. Puzzled. There are a couple of things I don't understand, though. Like, why did Ben waste time digging so many holes to bury the money? Leo shrugged. Maybe he couldn't make up his mind where to hide it. Maybe the soil was too rocky and he couldn't dig deep enough. 
Who knows what was going on in his mind? Leo dribbled ketchup over his fries. By the time the cops got back to town, it was too dark to go out hunting for him, so they decided to postpone their manhunt until the next morning. Hmm, I wonder why, why Cody would have doubled back to town, Toby said. Probably trying to throw the cops off his trail, Leo said. It almost worked. The next morning, the posse was getting ready to track Cody down when they fell over him. I mean, literally fell over him. You'll never guess where the guy had been hiding all night. Toby shook her head. Right in the basement of the police station. Her eyes widened in surprise. Stop it, Leo. You're kidding. Nope, Leo grinned. He thought the coast was clear, so he came up out of the basement through an outside door, and he ran right into one of the cops. Toby was breathless. What about the money? She asked. The paper said it had been a wet spring. The river was swollen with all that rain and the bridge washed away. The cops figured the money had been washed away too. So they gave up their search and Ben Cody went to prison. But right up to his death, old Ben always laughed about the great trick he'd pulled on the cops. Toby frowned. What trick? Good question, Leo said. Maybe the secret is that the money is still buried somewhere. But if it was washed away, Leo shook his head. Why did Ben brag about the trick he'd pulled? Maybe he didn't hide the money by the bridge. Toby glared at her brother. Now I'm confused. You just said the cops guessed that the money washed away. But think about it, sis. Cody could have hidden the loot on the trail back to town. Then it would have been waiting for him when he got out of prison. We have to sort out what really happened from what people think might have happened. Toby took a bite of hamburger and chewed thoughtfully. Okay, bright boy, she said after a moment. Just how do you think we're going to do that? I figure we need to go back to the scene of the crime, Leo said. He winked as he popped the last French fry into his mouth. Come on, Sherlock, let's retrace his footsteps. Are you ready? They carried their trays to the counter. Hannah, the woman who owned Hamburger Haven, nodded and smiled at them. Haven't seen you two in a while, she said. We've missed you too, Leo said. We've been busy studying for midterms, but we'll be back soon. You can count on it. And that's where we're going to stop today in Ben Cody's treasure. Remember to think about what you wonder and go over to Canvas and write two questions about what you are wondering from today's text. Thank you.